But you know, it's an art exhibition opening. Let, let's put it that way. You know, let me put it this way. When you go to these art openings, they're famous for having like a lot of wine and cheese. Well, we was on the Fort Hill campus. There was no wine. There was no cheese. Well, there was some cheese in them little finger sandwiches that they do and whatever. I mean, I'm not complaining, you know, blah, blah, blah. But whew, I pine for the days when I used to be able to go to these art openings because I was an arts director of America, you know, arts director of WBI Radio. I'd go to a lot of art openings because that was like my job, you know, to drink wine. I mean, to, to go to art openings. <laughs> I misspoke there. <laughs> Let me get to the point here. Now, you see there was this art opening because what happened was Lovedale College fine art students were, uh, had an exhibit, but see, they don't have a proper space at Lovedale College, which is right next door to us here at the University of Fort Hare. So they had it into the Beers Gallery, which is a nice little art gallery, you know? I mean, it's the proper place for it. So I guess they made some sort of deal, you know, plus we know, maybe you know, am I correct with this, but didn't, uh, uh, University of Fort Hare grew out of Lovedale College. In other words, first it was Lovedale College and then University of Fort Hare. Was it, what, what, what was that about? Is that the same thing? I mean, because I, I seem to remember somebody saying that, oh no, Lovedale is first and then University of Fort Hare, even though University of Fort Hare is 100 years old, well, somehow there was some other thing happening. I don't know. You know? Yeah, Lovedale was first. Thank you. Okay, good. So anyway, so, so we're right with that. So anyway, but the reason why I bring that up is because some kid, well, I don't say kid, but some student, you know, here at University of Hare, said, well, I have Lovedale here. And I said to him, I said, because Lovedale spawned you. What are you trying to disrespect Lovedale College for? But for Lovedale College, there would be no University of Hare here for, or for you. Oh, he, he ran away, he could he, 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 he disappeared. I couldn't talk to him any longer, he didn't ran away. <laughs> But you know, see, some other things were happening too because the keynote speaking uh, led to this the playwright I know, but he was he was like a, a speaker there, one of the first speakers, and he was saying how you know he sits in these sometimes he sits in these committees, whatever it is, and they talk about education, and they always say math and science, and then they say the minor subject of of, of arts, you know, or of uh, you know of, of culture, whatever they they're saying, and he was uh, he was upset when he related the story. He was very upset. So the guy said, why are you upset? He said, because you keep on, you know, making like art is not important, or the arts are not important, when it's the most important thing. Yeah, because basically, look, let's be real, as they say. If you're an artist, let's take popular artists, okay, let me just do an American popular artist, let's do the most famous right now, Jay-Z, or one of those guys like that. <laughs> what you don't realize is that he's, Jay-Z, they're supporting a whole industry the amount of jobs they have. I mean, let's say you would take a show on the road. You got to have the lighting rig. Which, you know, you got to have lighting. You got to have all these technicians. You have all these people moving stuff, truckers, and all of it. I mean, it's like a whole. It's a whole city that has to move with these folks here. So basically, what we're saying is that the economy, the, you know, an artist will give more to the economy than some mathematician in the basement of some sort of, you know? And yet still you're gonna say the, 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 the science guy is more important than the, than, than the cultural guy. That don't make no sense. Plus, look, also in that little program, I sort of snuck in and got like a minute to talk to the kids during the setting. Because they had brought up, say, Denzel Washington, you know? And I said, you know, Denzel makes $20 million a picture at least. That's 20 million times 12, because that's the going rate, you know, with the RAND. That's a lot of money for one cat who needs price employers. You see what I'm saying? But they also was mentioning that, that for instance, uh, I didn't mention this at the particular time, but what I should have mentioned was that, remember, for fashion and for, especially fashion, South African artists, designers are the hottest thing right now. If you go for music, dance music, and you go to England or, you know, one of those European countries, they're on the floor dancing to some, you know, some, some house beats from South Africa. It's the biggest thing. So how are you, how are you going to disrespect the arts like that? Then I figured out, I know why. Because these people are selling these things that make these decisions. They think like this. Let me, I'm writing this little document here, but let me just, a portion of the document says, in this modern world, we see levels of management slash administration take on guises of grandeur. 
thinking their task is to control, to lord over the very charges they are tasked to support. So you see, management think that they're, I don't know what they think they are. They must be supporting the students. They must be supporting the staff. They're not, they're, they're not giving orders. And that's the problem. You've got people in management that don't understand that task, don't understand their jobs. Well, look, obviously I'm upset. I'm upset about you know. I mean, there's a few things that get me upset. Just automatic, just push my button. And one thing is when you start dissing the arts, then that I'm I'm I'm, I'm stepping all over you. Hey, this is a deep kind of a battle. Anyway, look, let me let me stop right now. That this has been one of those dispatches from the arts director of marriage. That would be me, T, for the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Disrespecting the arts like that. What's the matter, these people?